Hey church family, this is the fifth and final video that we are doing. I hope and pray that these um, devotionals, teachings have been helpful as we enter into a season as a church in preparation for Easter um, to fast and ask the Lord to do some really cool things Easter weekend of this year. Um, as you, you've probably heard, uh, we are asking the Lord to bring 2,000 people here on our campus Easter weekend. And in that, we're asking um, you as church members that um, you would write down 10 names that the Lord give you 10 people in your life that He is already drawing near to Himself, that you can um, be intentional and relational and missional with, to begin to cultivate a relationship with and invite them to Easter um, this March. And so just want to say thank you for watching these. Um, I know they've been helpful. Um, as you are navigating, maybe for the first time ever, fasting. And so what I would like to do in the last video is just say, man, thank you so much, but also um, answer the question, uh, what are the results of uh, fasting spiritually? Okay, what are the results of spiritually fasting? Um, we see that uh, fasting oftentimes, it help, uh, helps us get a sensitivity and a focus um, with our heart, uh, with our mind and with our body upon the Lord. I know in times past when I'm uh, fasted for several days, you know, one of the things about when you fast for three or four days and just do a water diet only if you're doing that, um, you get very aware that you're hungry all the time. And so when I've fasted in previous days, I have just this more sensitivity, more mindful of the Lord. And so um, some of the results of fasting uh, we see or that we begin to become more attentive to God and the things of God. Um, some of the results of fasting um, results in us being more, more aware of how weak we are, but also how powerful God is. We often see the results of fasting uh, as that it changes us in a way to change our community. Um, can you imagine if uh, out of this church-wide fast, what the worship is going to be like on a Sunday morning, um, what your prayer life is going to be um, as you set before the Lord. We also see that um, fasting results in God moving powerfully in our lives and in the church we attend. We see that fasting brings results um, with Often throughout the Bible and the Old Testament, New Testament, especially the New Testament, we see uh, that the early church got together, they fasted and they prayed, and the Holy Spirit of God moved. When people fast, when individuals, when churches fast, God begins to hear. Uh, a couple of scriptures I wanted to give you on the way out here is Matthew 17, 21. Uh, the fast that they were taking released people from the bondage of sin and addiction. In Ezra 8, 21 and 23, um, the fast answered problems and gave godly wisdom and direction. In 1 Kings 19, fasting broke negative mental and emotional habits. We see in Daniel 1, 1 through 21, that fasting brought about healing and wholeness. We see that in Esther 4, 16, uh, that the fasting can provide unusual power and protection from the evil one. And so church family, as we uh, close out these devotionals, these teaching times, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to come expecting that God is going to give ear to our pleas and our prayers. And I'm excited to hear of how fasting in the month of March on Thursday from uh, morning and lunch, how God is going to change your life and also change our church in order for us to know Jesus more and make Jesus known in our community. I love you. I am so thankful to get to serve King Jesus beside each one of you. Uh, I'll see you soon.